A community rattled after hearing a sexually violent predator will be living in their neighborhood. The man who abused two boys and two girls will live with his wife. It's a story we've been following since 10 News got word of his release yesterday. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty live in Skyline with the reaction from neighbors. Dan. Well, Matthew Hedge still has a few days before he has to check in with San Diego police and let them know where he will be living. As you mentioned, most people expect him to move in with his wife, a San Diego woman who he met after his conviction. Matthew Hedge has been rehabilitated, at least according to authorities. The man who abused two boys and two girls, who's classified as a sexually violent offender, has said goodbye to his supervised stay in a prison-issued mobile home, saying hello to San Diego neighborhoods. It's pretty scary for sure. I don't want to have neighbors, sexual offender neighbors. Sonia lives in the Skyline area, the same place where some believe Hedge may relocate. He married a woman after his conviction, and public records say she lives nearby. We stopped by that address, but neither Hedge nor his wife were there. Sonia hopes it stays that way. Uh, our system needs to have uh, some type of freaking recovery for these people, for they, sure. They, well, in fact, they do have a program. That's why Hedge is out. And one of the first steps of that program is admitting your crimes and your desire to reoffend. Statistics are statistics, and they don't lie. They always reoffend. We talked to a few of Hedge's wife's neighbors, but they didn't seem to know much about either of them or if Hedge will call this neighborhood home. If he does, it won't be me knocking on the door. It will be police. So once, he once Hedge finds a place that he wants to live, he'll check with police, register it. They'll stop by, make sure it's okay, and then they will go door to door and let the neighborhood know. Reporting live tonight, Dan Haggerty, 10 News.